Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to properly season your Monument Grill. So the very first step in the process is you want to go ahead and uh, take your grates out. If you have this rotisserie, take that out and have this cooling rack. Go ahead and take those out. Give them a, a nice little rinse down with some soap and water. Let them dry out and then we can go ahead and put them back in here. There, this is a multi-step process to seasoning your grill, whether you're seasoning it for the first time or you're going to re-season it after the, uh, the winter season. First thing you want to do here is Put everything that you want to season on the grill itself. We're gonna go ahead and turn this baby on. So we're gonna go ahead and let that baby um, heat up really, really nice. Uh, you're looking at about maybe 30 minutes of letting it uh, heat up like this. What this is doing right now is we're trying to get rid of all the uh, packing oils or anything else that should not be in here. Uh, for this step of the process, you wanna leave this open. And um, yes, you wanna have it on high heat, but not too high. I'm gonna go ahead and go down to like medium. So while your grill is uh, heating up, we're going to need to get some uh, foil paper because I am going to create my, my own smoke box. I know uh, Monument Grills has their smoke box on their website and if you want to go ahead and click on, on the link below to their website and you can grab your own. I don't have one so I'm going to make one on my own. So I'm going to get some uh, foil paper here. So what we're going to do here with this foil paper is we're going to create a little smoke box, you know, temporary smoke box. So what we want to do here is we want to fold it in half and then we're going to go ahead and uh, get these sides folded in to start creating a little box here. I'm going to go two times for about a, maybe like a half inch in width. Do that to the other side as well. I'm going to turn this around. All right, now we're going to go to the edge where we fold it, the, uh, the fold paper, and we're going to go ahead and do the same thing. And the, I got, uh, this is e heavy duty, e extra wide uh, foil paper. So because I did that, if you notice, my little box is gonna be kind of big. I don't need this big of a box. So if that's your case, you just continue folding it in until you get the desired um, size of box. Keep in mind that you are gonna be folding this as well. So don't go too much because you are gonna have to give yourself some room for this one. But I think I can reduce it a little bit more by a couple more folds here. Now that you got your little box here, you want to get yourself uh, some smoking chips. Ones I'm using today are mesquite. Why? Because I like mesquite and also it's one of the more stronger um, woods to smoke. I'm going to throw some of these chips in here. All right, once you have the amount that you're, you're happy with, you're going to go ahead and fold it. Close it up with a knife or a fork or something. You want to make little holes, not too big, not too small. And then you want to make a couple on the bottom, not too many, just one or two. So when we're getting ready for the second step, this is what we're going to be putting on our propane grill. So it gives it a little bit of that smoky type of seasoning. So it's been 20 minutes. Uh, we've been at medium strength here on our burners. The next step here to do is for 10 more minutes, we're going to continue leaving it the way it is. We're just going to go ahead and close the lid and let the top part of the grill get nice and warm. While this uh, is happening, you do want to go ahead and get grab yourself some type of uh, vet, some type of oil. I'm going to be using vegetable oil this time around uh, because this is going to be the next step in the process. Not only this, but if you recall our little uh, smoke box, we're going to go ahead and use that as well. So 10 minutes after uh, closing the, the lid, the next step here is to go ahead and apply some of this uh, vegetable oil. I like to use the uh, aerosol can only because it's a lot easier to apply. Uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, apply it liberally all over the grill on the inside. Make sure you get some uh, gloves or something because the, this thing is going to be pretty hot. We're going to go ahead and turn off the burners for now. Make sure that the burners are off because this thing will flame up on you. All right. Get the walls, get the back part. Try to get as much of the of this as possible as the top part as well. 
All right, so the next step here is to go ahead and uh, we're gonna put our little smoke box that we, our little contraption here, we're gonna go ahead and put it here right there. Turn this baby back on. And this time, we're not gonna put it uh, at the high temperature. We're gonna go all the way down to the lowest setting. Some of this uh, oil is starting to burn off. We're gonna go ahead and, uh, oh, forgot to oil this up. All right, we're gonna set this on here. We're gonna go ahead and uh, close this baby up at the lowest setting once again. And we're gonna run it for at least 30 minutes. Now, what's happening here in this process is that you're creating a barrier between the metal and the, uh, I guess, the, the elements outside. So some of the smoke that you're seeing right now is the smoke from the oil burning off, but eventually that little smoke box is gonna start releasing a lot of uh, smoke because the chips are gonna start to uh, turn, uh, are gonna start to light up. So we're gonna go ahead and leave that one right here in the middle and close it up. Give it about uh, 30 minutes. Okay, so we're about 10 minutes in. Now that I uh, let the initial burn off of the uh, oil happen, now we can go ahead and raise it to where we had it before, about half ways. So we can really, really, really get that baby uh, dialed in. Um, when I had it half ways the last time, it was hitting like about 600 degrees. At the lowest setting, it was hitting about 350. So that kind of gives you a, a range Right now, my little smoke box is not smoking just yet. It needs to get a little hotter, but um, I can already see some little smoke coming out of the little holes. Let's try to get this closer in there. It's just about to start popping off. If you guys can see that little smoke, that's gonna give it a nice little uh, seasoning, like an outdoors type of uh, seasoning to your grill, especially if you're doing propane. Close that baby up. For the next 20 minutes, we're going to go ahead and uh, let it do its thing. If you did not add the little smoke box, it you're not going to really see anything coming out. You're just going to see uh, heat coming out. But if you did add that little smoke box, you're going to start seeing that smoke come out and really, really penetrate your grates and your rotisserie attachment and all that good stuff. Okay, so we're about two minutes into cranking it up to uh, halfway. So we're going to go ahead and open it up just to give you a look inside. There you go. Your little smoke box is uh, doing its job, doing its thing. All right, so it's as simple as that. You wanna wait until the 30 minutes are up. If you want to, you can give it 45. It's really up to you. 30 minutes is uh, enough time. Once this is done, you can go ahead and uh, first things first is you wanna turn off your propane tank on the bottom. Allow for all that propane to escape through the, um, through the burners. Then you can turn off your knobs and just let it cool down or you can just go ahead and start cooking on this baby. Um, this has been The Smoking Beard. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. But uh, for now, I'll catch you guys on the flip side. Stay tuned for another video where I'm going to show you how to make smoked hamburgers. Keep an eye out for that one.